Yeah, ratings! This is Garth S.D. Tiles Adventure with another episode of Star Made here on the Star Squadron server. It's something I always freaking forget to say, but that's what this is. Just Star Squadron server. God, let's sit down already! I'm already setting. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What? 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 Why? Sit. Sit. What's wrong with my freaking keyboard? <laughs> I can't do anything. My phone just said, huh? Don't be like that. Okay. Why? God bless me. America! Spacebar, right? Are freaking wrong on that? What the heck, man? <laughs> I am blown away by this. Why are you not working? I got no sticky keys. I got nothing. What's going on here? Stop it! I can't go into fly mode. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Give me this. God bless America. I can't sit down. Why can't I sit down? Oh, why can't I sit down? What's wrong? What I do? Is my is my ship broken? What's my ping? Where's my ping? My ping is. Not horrible. It's a 140. That's not great, but that's not horrible. FPS is 417. Holy crap! That's amazing. Well, let me give you an update since I can't freaking go into build mode or out of build mode. I'll give you a little update here. You notice that my ship is missing. That's because the build bay must remain empty at all times because we have projects. We have projects coming up, and these projects must be to, to, to have bays. God, that doesn't make any sense. You shut up! It does make all kinds of sense! So, I built a little platform up here for my ship, but I can't, I can't get to it! <laughs> oh, I can! Check it! Oh, I forgot about that. It's my brain, okay? It's... Don't ever not have a brain like this. Or wait, do... Do never have a... Yeah, do never have a brain like this. Let's just... Let's go. Uh... It, uh... Oh god, set just, just activate Okay now I'm in space. See how quick that was? It worked like a charm. I'm, I can't jump. Why can't I jump? Now I can't jump. I'm in space, I guess. That might be why. Just in case I fall out of space though. <laughs> you don't want to fall out of Shut up! Alright. All right, so we got this thing here, and I had it linked. What I what I did wrong, I was doing everything right. It's just you have to deactivate the one that's getting pulled from, and that's what I did wrong. And uh, a couple of my people's there, they totally helped me out here, going up the ladder. I still don't have any seats. That's because I I'm broke. <laughs> I spent all my money on the ship, and can I? I can't even go. Into God, I can't. What? It's a problem here. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I have rebooted. <laughs> Let's see. I still can't, <laughs> I can't get out of build mode. Why is it Z? Did they change? Oh, they changed the keys. Why did they change the keys? It's never been Z. What the? What the? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I pay attention. Sometimes. Fly it away. All right. So basically, what we've learned in the process of building is is that uh, we need a lot of resources, and oftentimes we need a good deal of these resources. So I think the best thing that we can do is look through here. Now there was a couple of resources that I needed that I wasn't really seeing here. One of them is parstoon, and I don't see any parstoonans. So probably what we're going to have to do is go to another asteroid delta. And now I don't know where any keys are. <laughs> M is map. <laughs> In case you were curious. I don't know! Mm. <clears throat> what is this? 
That's it. What? What's he doing over here? <laughs> Come on, trading cartel. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's go visit. Plot past the current. Yes. Select. Plot past the current. Okay. We gotta go see what's going on here. Because he is not supposed to. He is not supposed to be here. I thought everybody was gone. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. My ping is still pretty awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing to do with what was wrong with me before. I swear. I wasn't even... <laughs> I just pointed my ship. I didn't even push forward. That's alright. It's okay. It's, shh. It's, a, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't... I don't even know. I'm a little crazy. A little crazy today. I don't know why. Jump drive charge. Go! Look at me. Salvage as soon as I land. Uh, brakes! Brakes! Uh, almost stopped all the way. We gotta go visit. I was gonna see what kind of space station that was. Maybe I could go, you know, unload some goods or whatever. I don't have any goods other than these goods. But, you know, what do you do? What do you do? I am a. Uh, I am, like, really curious. Hey, 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 hey! Bam! I'll go get that here in a minute. In a minute. Uh huh. Uh huh. That is a great idea, Chase. If you're watching this episode right now and you know what I'm talking about, yeah, just do me a favor and uh, tweet out tweet out my video and, and like it and, and comment on it and send me a dollar in the mail. But you don't have my address, so you don't have to guess. Hmm. Hydrate or die, people. That's the rule. Hydrate or die. The trading cart, tra trading cart, trading cartel. Da -da -da. Trading cartel. You better not fire on me. <laughs> I will totally fire back. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> What's he doing here? Uh, let's just let's have, see if we can look around. We'll have ourselves a peep eye. As my, as my mom used to say, pea pie. When you're looking for something, she'd say, have a pea pie. I don't know what that meant. <clears throat> I think I kind of know what it meant. You're like, peep, like, you know, look, and then with your eye, obviously. So pea pie was, I mean, it's obvious. I'm not stupid. I know what it meant, but I don't know where it came from. Nor do I really care because my mom is adorable and she, whatever she says is just perfectly fine with me. Give me this. All right, so... Activate. Oh, can't access denied. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I just destroy everything and shoot my way in? What's he doing over here? There's air vent. Can we sneak into the air vent? No, we can't. Oh, Gmod, what are you doing? Oh, here's a turret. It didn't shoot on me, so obviously I'm friendly. I'm friendly! Make output. Current. <laughs> That's gonna fire crooked. <laughs> I've found a loophole in the system. Let's see if I can do this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna totally screw him up here. Can I get in there? That's a Bobby AI. Let's see. Oh, I can actually activate this. Check this out. It's a turret. Uh, I don't want to mess with it. Uh, that'd be a jerk move. That would be such a jerk, but I gotta do it. <laughs> it's a big old missile gun turret thing. What are we doing here? I want in. Get me in the machine. Oh, <laughs> bless America. Your space station is not very welcoming, G Mod doesn't let me in at all. That's just a jerk move. Oh, hey! <laughs> ah, no, I'm not gonna do it. That would just be mean. Let's see, was it a trading cartel? Uh, yeah, you don't want to mess with the cartel. I mean, he'll, he'll wreck, your, wreck your spleen or something. We can look around, though. It's got a little kitchen area. Looks like a med bay kind of sort of thing. See, these guys have such an eye for detail that it makes me so jealous. Common area. Coffee, space drinks, foods, media, IT, hibernator bed. Oh, hey, look at that. And there's a P for, I guess, the pooping, maybe, or peeing. Either one of those. It's got a chest there and a little oven. I could, I could, I could live there. I mean, it looks, it looks like it's got every, what's this? Can I push it? I can't push it. I'm in. <laughs> What's this? 
structure belongs to another faction. <clears throat> yeah, I can't get in here either. What does it say? Unknown side eight. Warning. Can I, I, oh, I can use things. I can come in here and poop in the toilet and the pee. I can poop in the pee. Where is it at? There's you. <laughs> That's gross, car. Don't poop in people's spaces. What are you even thinking? I'm not, obviously. I could just like sit up here and wait for him. That would be really creepy. All right, so this episode was not supposed to be about finding Gmod, but we did. So there, take it, Gmod. We've pooped in your pee and opened some of your doors and set all your turrets to attack you. <laughs> I just kidding. That last part didn't actually happen. Uh, but that would be funny, wouldn't it? Oh my god, that would be so funny. I mean, not really funny, but you know what I'm saying. It's close. This is like the most detail I've put in a ship in a long time. I just gotta say. And it looks pretty bland and very plain, but it's supposed to. It's a, it's, a, it's a functional utility vehicle. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a, like a sports utility vehicle. It's all posh with leather seats and you're never going to get muddy at all. It's an honest-to-God Jeep CJ7. That's what this is. It was designed to just wreck stuff. All right, where were we going? Cars? There we go. Now we got it. Where, where are you at? Oh, there you are. I didn't even see the big old white Ura. Let's go. Wait a second. 21,000. That's not bad. I mean, I can make that jump in a little bit here, but I don't want to jump. That's more hydration. It's very important. I just stuck my finger in it, so, because you should always look at what you're grabbing. Ah, water is important. It helps you uh, digest your foods, keeps you hydrated. Your cells are made up predominantly of water, so if you don't have enough water, you are technically less than what you were when you were hydrated because your cell, your cells have actually reduced in some of what they are. And nobody wants reduced cells. I mean, they're small. You can't really see them, but when you add them up, you know, it's kind of like fifth graders. One or two is not bad, but you put about 100 of them together, yeah, drive any teacher crazy. Any teacher. I don't care who you are. Be teacher of the year, you'd still be crazy. Sitting in the corner. Doing that thing. Prince about to come in and talk real calm to you. All right, all right, Mr. Garth. We need you to put the stapler down. It's not happening! They're all over the place! All right, that's enough. We're done. Rich in Parsine and Sepsoon, which are two things that I don't have near my casa. Uh, I'm a little worried that the trading cartel has a, has a thing out here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's completely and totally harmless. I mean, it, even though cartel is kind of a Kind of an ominous sounding thing. I'm pretty sure that it's harmless. Oh, about 90%. It's like 60. 60%. 60% sure they're harmless. 45. 45-ish. But it's, they're completely friendly. Oh, bam, hit it. <laughs> this is why you need stop things on your things. It'll eventually stop. No? Okay, it's going to go forever. We're just going to have to cha change it. All right. I, no, I'm looking at, I'll just go forward like this. Just I can just drop back a little bit when it gets too close and then push forward a little bit when it gets too far away. Oh, my God. This is brilliant. Why didn't I think of this before? I'll just bump them all back towards my ship or station or whatever. This is pretty cool, though. It's almost like a little game here, like a little dance, like a pirouette of asteroidiness. Garth. What? That doesn't make any sense. Stop saying those things. If I, if they didn't make sense, I wouldn't say them. It's not like I'm just a big nonsense spiller, you know? <laughs> it's just it doesn't work that way. All right, I'm going to mine a few of these asteroids, and I'll meet you guys back on the base, because we have something we're going to start today. We have something we are going to start today. <laughs> so, like, <clears throat> I'm totally cruising through space, right? And I see this on my my navigation screen, so we have to go check this out. Balaam Mining Config 40-2 Trading Guild. So it is obviously a trading guild out doing their thing. We just popped up on my radar. Oh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, phone's there for our front again. Jeez, Louise, Louise. I don't want to say I'm antisocial, but, you know, because I'm socializing right now. Technically socializing. 
Are these guys going to be jerks and fire on me? Probably not, because they're blue. And blue means friendly. <laughs> blue means friendly. That's what it means. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, definitely like to see what this is. It's Trading Guild, which is the guys who restock the shops and junk. But it's a mining config, which I've never never seen that before. So, I want to check it out. I want to get all close to it and look at it. Put my eyeball on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you. That's what I want to do. Garth. What? You're weird. No. <laughs> That's perfectly normal behavior. Your idea of weird is weird. <laughs> That's also weird. You shut up. You know you're talking to yourself, right? That's not the point! <clears throat> it isn't. So, who knows? I didn't argue with myself about that. Mm -hmm. Even I know. It's not the point. Not the point. Uh, yeah, these guys are going a little bit faster than normal. There's a couple of dudes over here. We got. I don't know what that they're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Look at them. It's weird looking. I gotta see it. I wanna see it. It's a... It's a mob. Which I guess mobile object. Which is an enemy. Or thing. What is it? It looks weird. I'm concerned. MG. Very cinematic. Would you agree? Look how cinematic this is. Holy butt crack. What is that? That looks like Crazy Nally. It looks like something Crazy Nally would, drop, would, would make. We gotta check it out. I wonder if they actually do any mining. That's pretty decent stuff. Let's just slow down a little bit. Just a little, come on, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I wanna see the front. That's a thing. I don't even know what to tell you. That is a thing. All right, in we go. We're going in. We're going in. They are flying so far away from our ship as to cross the space time. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, this is definitely Crazy Nally. He's got a build style that is very unique and it is just brilliant. If this isn't him, this is somebody who's also very brilliant. Oh my goodness, this is just amazing. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's got to be Crazy Nally. He's probably one of the most creative builders I've ever seen. He's got such a good eye for detail and junk. It's so impressive. They're going to eat each other. Oh, don't leave. No, stay. Is there a spy pirate ship? Oh, look at all these. These are salvage arrays. Oh, that is brilliant. I bet you that spins. It does. Look at that. It's a whoa! <laughs> I was inside you. All right, let's get back on our ship because we really far. They just blew them away, man. They're like so slow compared to us. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if I can just interrupt their mojo or something. All right, I'm at zero. Let's go home because I have a s sinking suspicion. Did we just cross? Yeah, this is me over here pretty sure. Yes, this is me. Planet. <laughs> it's me, alright. What is this planet? It's just a planet. That's it. Yeah, there's a crate. Yeah, okay, so plot path to current. We're looking that way. We're on three, and we're just gonna jump there. Oh, yes. Jumping exactly there. Entered system, zero, zero, zero. And we're in 885. And there's my planet. What's up, people? How you doing? My name's Garth. I live here. <laughs> Anyways, so we're totally going to get rolling. 
<coughs> on the thing that I <coughs> went to went to get. Um, what I'm planning on starting today is the beginnings of what I'm going to use to track down these mega pirates. I don't even know what they're called. You know, probably want to have a look at that. Probably want to have a look at that. When we get when we get closer to land, I will definitely have a look at that. The downside of being hydrated is that you want to burp a lot. So, you know, you don't have to burp, but you want to a lot, often, and noisily. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got the teleporter, which gets us up to our thing, and that is always a plus because when your thing is too far away. You need to teleport to it. It's just, it's the only option. It's only viable. I like that word, viable. I couldn't spell it for you right now, but it's a fun word to say. Stop, 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 I've done a little bit of creative, creative altering. I wouldn't say, like, in creative. There we go. I wouldn't say that I was in creative. But you'll notice now that I'm attached to this thing, I'll come over here. And it's empty. Yep, that's right. It's already done its thing. It's already done its thing. <coughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much. So all we have to do now is go back downstairs. And yeah, see, I always try to put myself over that because I always seem to enter gravity when I come out of my ship. But for some reason, when I teleport up here, I'm not in gravity. So let's just activate that and take me down to the down thing. And it actually comes over here to this thing. See, now I'm not even gravity anymore. I don't know what's going on with that. It's just how it is. It's just how it is, people. I've got two buildings. I moved a, a couple of these buildings around so that you guys could not be cluttered up in your in your in your brains. Uh, and then all the stuff that I put in, have in my, in my hold comes down here <coughs> and um, is sorted into one of these two buildings. This is kind of like a main housing storage area where there's all kind of stuff, specifically capsules and like more capsules and these nothing in those because I haven't, I don't think I've put set anything up for those, but, just, but there you go. There is that. I need to I need to name those storages. It's very important that you name your storages so that you can like kind of see them and stuff. That's so you know what you're supposed to be looking at. And in here we have a bunch of crap, which is probably going to get pulled out and sorted other places. But right now I should be yeah, par Parsons and stuff. It's all coming into the refineries. Ref got the sap soon and the parsing. There's a lot of stuff that I just I still don't have like parsed soon. I didn't see it. I may have missed it. You guys can tell me in the comments below if I missed it. Um, and I will totally go back and look. But <clears throat> to get what we want, our, our ultimate vessel of destruction, two things has to happen. First of all, I have to come over here to this block right here. Uh, and then I have to come up here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this block right here, which currently has us facing this way when we build our ship. And we're going to remove it. Uh, just like that. And you're going to be like, guards, oh my god, why did you do that? I'm like, I tell you, all right, it's a secret, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Take the gray standard armor, we put it in our inventory, right? And then we say, from the center line, which is about right here, we're gonna come out 30, which I believe is on the Z. No, I was obviously wrong. So we'll go up 30 from here. So this would be it. I believe that's it. Let's make sure. Does it look centered to you? It does. Okay, it does. So we then we're gonna take this block, and instead of having it face us this way, we're gonna have it face this way. So we're gonna build the ship as this be in the front. And there's a very specific reason why I'm doing that, and I'll show you right in a few minutes. <laughs> So we want this arrow pointing that way, just like that. And then we can get rid of this. And that's pretty easy to do. We just go back here to 29 and delete it. Remove mode, make sure we don't grab anything we don't want to grab. Just like that. 
All right, perfect. All right, <clears throat> then we come up out of here, and then we. Oh, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to do this. Oh, I'm so silly. All right, there's a shipyard right here. We select this puppy, and then V this puppy, and then now we should quit yelling about it. It's like, oh my god, what are you gonna do? All right, so we're totally done now. Perfect. I am brilliant. Brilliant. I don't I cut a hole in this for some reason. Oh, I know. I was going to put something in there. But that's fine. It's totally fine. I was going to build like a gra uh, gravity elevator that would just throw me into space. But I decided not to. To not to. Then we come in here to our shipyard and obviously we're going to create a new design. And I'm going to call this one what I should have what I should have called the other one but never did. And I'm going to call this one... <sighs> Botron. You're like, that doesn't make any sense. Right, we gotta, we got to add a GRS tag to it. So nobody messes with it because they know it's bro serious. All right. So now we're still not in gravity, so we can fly over here and get in it. But effectively, it's a ship. It's going to be facing this way. I.e., we're gonna, when we fly it, we're going to be looking this way, and that's the important part. And you're going to be like Garth, but why? Remember that robot that I started last season? Well, that's where we're going. We are going to go robot, massive robot and we're going to build these little pieces one at a time and i think i think this is probably a good place to start with the torso it's not going to be massive torso but it is going to definitely be a torso so initially what i would like is kind of for this to be in the upper chest area so that like um like the sternum would be like right here uh but it would still extend down this way so almost like the heart that's kind of what I'm shooting for. But the heart is kind of like off to the side. So what we'll do is we'll do this and then we'll do like a little a little aesthetic power plant right here. Um, and a little, a little area up above this for like seeing out of and junk. I think that would be pretty cool. Because basically, where'd it go? Basically what I would like to, <laughs> I lost the core. What I would like to do is have, have a view from the core which means that I need to fill all the blocks out to the end so that you can see through it when you're actually in it. You see through all the blocks. And then have a secondary view that's kind of like up in the flight deck. That's kind of like what I would do, uh, would like to do for that. There's going to be, of course, an awesome helmet uh, with, with like face plate and like little freaking laser beams that come out of the eyeballs and stuff. I was thinking about doing a turret with that, but then it would be weird when the head was all like, tracking an enemy behind me and I'm flying this way and it's all like my head is on backwards that's how BA I am <laughs> but anyway so uh, what I kind of wanted to do this episode was get you guys feedback on that we're going with the robot thing tell me some things that are very robot like in the comments below that's what I want I want to see like all your feedback I want a robot with like laser eyes or something just give me some feedback what you think should be on a killer robot that's bent on destroying mega pirates. I want to know. Obviously, we're going to have some some samurai armor on it, maybe, or possibly even some kind of cyber armor. But you know, we're going to go one way or the other with it. I'm going to go all out on this. We're going to have all kinds of fun, on, and that's kind of what we're going to work towards throughout throughout this this revenge that we have going on here. I'm going to maximize my freaking lethality of my robot. Uh, probably going to move it at some point up to space. Where, I'm gonna, where I can have a bigger one of these, but I didn't really have the assets to build the size that I needed. So I'm gonna just kind of start, a little here, a little there. And since we can now take inherent thrusters, I can put thrusters in like a jet pack or the arms or the legs or whatever. I don't have to pack everything into the core and you just have to kind of the arms and legs just dangling behind. They can actually serve a purpose. You know what I mean? And that's pretty cool. Cause I'm gonna have to keep a majority of the power in the central area, in the chest and abdomen and groin region. Um, and then, like, I could put thrusters and, and different kind of components down there just for fun in the arms and legs. I also want a couple, like, shoulder turrets or something like that. Or maybe even, you know, like, just, like, one big massive shoulder turret. And then I have, like, the kamikaze missiles that shoot out of the chest. I would like to check the chest plate to open up and all these missiles just fire out in random places. I think that would be awesome. And I'm getting a little excited, a little bit ahead of myself. We haven't even put anything other than a core down. And it's not even really here because it's in the shipyard. So... Comments below. Give me your feedback. You know I love hearing from you guys. It totally makes my day. And until next time, keep your eyeball on G-Modism because I think he's encroaching. All right? Thank you. And I'm out.